What is going on YouTube? Snoop12922. Um, this is going to be a long video, so I'm just letting you know up front that this is going to be a pretty long video. So I don't know how long it's going to run. I'm only doing one take, one shot, uh, no editing, anything like that in this video. But uh, it's been about three weeks since I was last on YouTube, and I think I should explain to you guys what's going on. Um, I don't foresee a long delay like this again, but anything could happen. What's going on is the company I work for was uh, Super Value, and they were the largest, I think the largest or the second largest wholesale grocery distributor in the country, and they got bought out last year. The new company looked at the region and division I worked in, and they said, you know what, you guys run so efficient, so good everything is straight we're just gonna leave you alone for about a year well that year year and a half is now over and they are coming in and they are changing everything from uh, the way we work to the way that uh, our systems are set up all everything they just had a big layoff in our warehouse um, nothing affecting what I do down in transportation but they are changing dramatically a lot of the stuff so my work schedule is all over the place um, for the past probably seven no past almost 10 years i've always had wednesday off uh wednesday was one of the days because i you know doctor's appointments and that's why you see you would see a lot of my youtube videos would come up on a wednesday was because i was off and for the first time in over 10 years I won't have Wednesdays off because my schedule's completely changing. Um, there's a lot of other stuff that's going on at work that's completely, I mean my whole thing, um, I work evenings and nights and even that's getting ready to change where I'm probably going to be working daytime during the sunlight and so it's dramatic changes that are going on uh, in my life behind the scenes. So. For that, I kind of apologize for it because, you know, I've, I've tried to churn out at least one video a week, preferably two. But with that, um, I'm going to try to get more videos out very, very shortly. I, I feel I'm doing kind of a disservice by not getting the videos out. Uh, have I bought anything? Oh, the other question I'm getting, will Around the Hobby return? absolutely it is going to return please bear with me I'm dealing with the stuff at work you guys know um, just before Thanksgiving computer crashed I had to completely reload that up uh, I got quite a bit of new software in there a lot of patch updates on the existing software I was running for editing so yes it's going to return I have a whole new thing and software that I'm going to be running in order to do it my goal is, you know, since like the 1950s, uh, news programs and shows like that, they always do the picture-in-picture -picture window, which is kind of like right there. You put the little picture and all of that stuff. Well, you know, there are a few people that are imitating, you know, sort of around the hobby. And you know what? Kudos to you guys. Uh, to me, imitation is the most sincerest form of flattery. But... I'm bringing it up to the 21st century. I've got some new software. It's going to make everything faster. Instead of anywhere from 10 to 12 hours of editing, I'll probably be down to maybe two. So this is going to make a dramatic difference in my turnaround time. Also, it's going to push that part of my channel way forward. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of new stuff in that the videos are going to run smoother. The way the logos and everything pop up, it's going to be different. Um, it's a lot of new stuff I'm bringing to that, but it's going to be so much faster for me. And I think you guys are going to like the new changes that are going to come to it. But please bear with me. I'm still learning that software, and this software is a monster to learn. Um, so probably in a couple weeks, uh, that I'm going to try to have a very good episode of that going on. Um, have I been keeping up with the news of what's going on? Absolutely in the card world. Uh, in the card community here on YouTube, uh, we've got the Baseball Hall of Fame going on. 
Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on. Panini, uh, people that make custom cards, Panini's taken four of them to court for trade rock, trademark infringement using the rated rookie logo. Panini is not playing about that. Uh, there's some technology that's uh, in the coin world through Collector's Universe that I think will soon come to cards. Um, you know what? Let me grab a slab real quick. See if I've got a more kind of new one. Uh, this old one will work. Oh, I grabbed two slabs. I only meant to grab one. <coughs> um, take this Manny, Mar Manny Ramirez slab. Uh, what the parent company that owns PSA is Collector's Universe. A lot of you know that. Well, in the coin world, Collector's Universe is now implementing microchip technology in the slabs as another safety feature. It costs $5 more, and I think that's going to be coming to cards very soon. Uh, a lot of the stuff that happens in the coin division gets transferred over to the card division with the exception of turnaround times. Uh, coin division, economy, your turnaround time is about three to three and a half weeks. They do not play with that coin division at all. Um, cards, you know, it's like four months, five months sometimes. But what they're doing is if you have a card like this, uh, right here, you have the option now, and, it, and I want to say up front, this is in the coin world for PCGS, the sister company to PSA. Right here, behind this sticker, um, they will implement a microchip. The advantage to that is, especially to sellers, uh, like at shows and stuff, and to people that are buying the cards, you know, from... Uh, people on, you know, that you just meet right out, you meet up with someone to buy a card or whatever. You can just take your phone, open the app, and just scan it across the front or the back. All the information about the item will come up on your phone, including photos front and back, size, um, so it'll have your height, your width, everything about the card, the date, the date that it was put into a slab, Everything about that card is going to come up on your phone. What is so neat about this is, you know how a lot of people will cross over. If somebody crosses it over, all they have to do is request the microchip and send it back to PSA, and they can pull it out of their system. I think that's a pretty cool thing, um, using that technology. Also, if someone's looking to buy a card... Like I know uh, JT, he sells cards at shows, so does Filmington and several others in the community. They can leave the card into the case. They don't have to take it out of their display case. The person can just come over with their cell phone right across, boom, the phone picks it up, picks up the microchip, and they can look at it on their phone and look at it in the case. The dealers don't even have to open the cases up to uh, look at the cards. Now, it is not in the card world yet, but I think this is something they're testing it. You know, uh, they tested the dark right here on the side. If you crack these slabs from PSA, I don't know about this one. This is an older one, but I do know with the lighthouse, it'll leave a dark mark wherever it was cracked open at. That came from the coin world and then transferred over to the card world. So I think that's going to come too. That's just a little tidbit of, you know, new stuff that I was, I'm kind of following along with, uh, if you have a 93 Jeter SP and a 10, one recently sold at auction, $180,000. That's the new record for that card. Previous record was like 130 something. So, you know, with Jeter getting ready to go into the Hall of Fame, that card is skyrocketing in value. So yes, I am keeping up with all the news and information and um, all the release dates and everything. I just haven't had time to put all this stuff together only because of my work schedule and changes that are going on at work. So yes, I am keeping up with that. Uh, have I picked up anything? Yes, I have. And uh, let me kind of get into it. You can see right there in the background some Topps Chrome update boxes that uh, I popped open. I, you know, if I open anything, I rarely ever put it on camera. But 
I've still got another box right there of uh, 2019 update. I don't, I'm probably not going to open this one. And I still have two more boxes of it in here. I might open one of these, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, other stuff, I've got, you know, stacks of cards that I'm going to be showing to you guys that I've gotten, like this Joe Morgan. Look at that. Beautiful card. Got this stack. I've kind of set this stack to the side to show one day. Uh, what's this? Here's another stack. You can see that's Willie Mays die cut action right there on the front um, and I need to get to this because none of these cards have been sort of cataloged uh, Scherzer's you know for my Scherzer PC I don't even know how many Scherzer's I've gotten but I've got another stack all of these are numbered so I need to show these uh, another stack of Scherzer's right there look at that that numbered rip card right there on the front from uh, Allen and Ginter. So there's tons of cards that I need to show. Uh, here's a stack of Tony Gwynn. And, you know, right here on the front, you've got that, that Pacific uh, EX2000, the 1999 Christmas ornament card. Right there. I just took the band and just wrapped it down like that. I hope it doesn't damage the card, but, you know, very cool 90s card from 1999 out of the Pacific 2000 and tons of shine. Tons of shines in the stack to show. I've got packages to open, you know. Um, this Tops 85401, I'm going to go ahead and open this package in just a minute. Uh, this is from Brentwood Sports Cards. I need to open this. This is from Kevin Paulson. I hope I'm saying your name right. But he sent this box of cards. I need to open this. And just so you know, this arrived... This, this was in from December. Nate's is from December. Uh, where is this one? December 16th. Uh, that this tops chrome that uh, I showed uh, where's the date on here this is from uh, I think November yeah I haven't even opened that up this Italian thing marked fragile this is from Mike Y Mike I have not opened this up yet you know you can see it's still sealed the way you sent it I haven't opened it up yet um, the coup de gras, the one big thing. I've been teasing this thing for over six months. This came in August. This six and a half pound monster right here from Aaron Davis. Um, yes, this is getting ready to be opened. But all of this stuff, you know, I need to get to. I've still got other stacks of things that I had bought, you know, on eBay and all of that that I haven't even gotten into. And JT and uh, Triple Crown 24 and Mike, baseball collector. Uh, right here is my desk. Pull out the keyboard. See this package? We were just talking about this because I, I don't open my mail and stuff all the time. Remember these, Mike? Sorry, guys. It's an uh, inside thing. Um, was having a conversation with Mike and JT the other night on the phone. And... I told Mike, yeah, right back in here, right back there. I've even got cards on here that I haven't even shown, included uh, complete Washington National sets. Um, just a bunch of stuff, you know, I haven't shown or talked about because I, I literally just haven't had time to make a video. And you guys know I like doing editing and cinematic stuff in most of my videos. So I, I just don't like it putting out this raw stuff. Anyway, this is a package from none other than Tops 85401. Because you guys came for cards. You didn't come to hear me talk. Put these up. And yes, I have a whole nother stack of uh, 
of things that are right over there in the corner that I've gotten in. Um, some of that stuff is from pre-national. All I did was open it up, look at it, and slot it right back in the envelope. It, it, uh, sorry. But let's see what Nate sent. Oh, very cool, Nate. Nate sent out a bunch of Barry Bonds cards, and uh, him and I were talking, and I told him I needed to get my Bond stuff up. So Nate sent out some Bonds cards. Thank you, Nate. Um, you know, Bonds cards for Nate, if, if you're trying to send him a card or something, uh, that is hard. The man has over, I think he's over 5,100, 5,200 Bonds cards. So let me pull out some of the coolest ones. Oh, yeah, this. I like this that sort of hologram effect. I don't know if it's transferring to the camera or not, but that's a very cool Bonds card. Um, right here, another very cool Bonds card. And Nate, these are gonna look great. Um, thrown in my Bonds collection. And we got the other pack. Oh, more bonds. Let's get this open. Guys, I have been watching your videos. Um, you know, I got to say thank you, JT, for the shout out you gave from uh, when you were showing those cards and you had that Scherzer autograph that you had gotten. Um, very nice looking card. Lots of chine in that one. So, yes, I have been watching videos. I uh, watch a lot of them at work on average. I'm watching anywhere from uh, six to eight hours of YouTube a night. So, guys, I have been watching your videos. I'm just, I have to apologize that I have not been able to uh, comment. I can watch them at work. I just cannot comment on them. So, hey, I'm grateful at least I can watch. So I've been watching all the pulls. I've been watching all the mail days. I've been watching all of the recent um, videos from different card shows all over the place. That's a very cool card. I like those round edges. And this is for a double. Not a home run. Got a double. But, uh, yes, I have been watching all the videos. Uh, and... For the Tony Gwynn, the Lord of the Diamonds with some die cut right there. Beautiful, beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous card. What year is this one? Uh, 1999. Beautiful card. Thank you so much, Nate. You know where this is going. Right into the Tony Gwynn PC. Speaking of the Tony Gwynn PC, this... All of these cards from here all the way back are cards that I've wanted to show on YouTube um, that I have picked up. So, yes, there are a lot, and I mean a lot of wins that I wanted to show. I mean, look at that. Whoo! Candy for your eyes with all that shine. There you go. Look, mmm. That's that's what I'm talking about. I'm also planning on getting, uh, got to give me an, a webcam. I've got one in my laptop, but it's a 720. I don't want no 720. Um, so I want, I'm want. i planning on buying me a webcam, a 1080p uh, webcam, very, very shortly within the next week or so. So I'm probably going to be going live and doing some rummaging videos. I actually have enough cards that I feel comfortable doing a rummage video and maybe I can get a few guests on. I've already talked to Nate about coming on live a couple times. I talked to uh, Aaron Davis about coming on. You know, I've talked to a few people about coming on and just doing some rummaging videos and just talking and talking about baseball and you know, with the Hall of Fame, the new rookies coming in, uh, all of that kind of stuff. So there's a lot more to come. 
Uh, I want to thank you guys. Thank you to all the subscribers that have stuck with me. Thank you to everybody that has called. And thank you to the people that have called and I just haven't had a chance to call you back. Like Bowman51 and uh, several other people. Uh, sorry. Because this is a bad time of year for me with that. Plus uh, fishing's getting ready to start. So I'm gearing up for my, for my season doing that. Yeah. Anyway. You guys, take it easy. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching this video all the way through if you made it this far. Hope, uh, hope it was worth it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.